Hello, let's follow up with the test of the AKK Tech X1 um, VTX. This is the receiver that's nice and small, uh, racing quad size, and can easily flick between 25, 200, and 600 milliwatts. Now, I've got it installed in this uh, MX P230, and it is just under here. I wrapped it in some heat shrink because it was bare and I didn't want any shorts but I've put it in such a way that hopefully I should be able to easily see the channel and be able to set it up okay if I plug in you should just see under there a number it says F1 and I might have to cut to a close up there because I can't see a bloody thing now this PTX is on RPSMA again. What I've actually got is, because um, I don't have many RPSMA SKUs, it goes to um, an RPSMA to SMA adapter onto a pigtail and then up here out of the frame onto this big nose SKU. But we shouldn't have any real losses there. So let's go out and fly this and just check it performs okay. I expect it to, but it's good to double check these things, isn't it? So here we are in the field, taking off, ready to fly. I should just explain, I've already rebuilt this quad after my normal 220 had a broken leg. And as you see, I've got quite a big vibration problem. Not quite sure where it's coming from as the quad looks pretty good in the air and it doesn't have that vibration sound. But certainly it's coming through to this FPV camera quite nastily as you can see. However, looking to judge the VTX as a VTX in a pit trip, puts back it's uh, absolutely all okay I mean that's most of the things you can say about it this is running in 200 milliwatts and I went in a couple of fields out to about 250 300 meters actually crashed at about 200 and something meters and um, I stored a picture so yeah absolutely no problems whatsoever other than the fact I need to go back and sort some of the stuff out the particular reason I'm flying from this position is it gave me the opportunity just to get behind some trees just to generate a bit of static to see what that would be like and here we've got a few trees and we get a couple of speckles in but it's nothing what you would expect and just to put it in perspective this is my GoPro session as you can see it's not perfect by any means but it seems um, a lot better than my FPV camera. So it's some vibration and some bad mounting. Anyway, as far as the VTX goes, I'm liking it. It's easy to change over on the fly. And I'm looking forward to the Amazon shop appearing so it's easy to get hold of. See you next time.